18 selection tips, here we go. First standard selection, it is box select. You click a face to select it, and shift allows you to select more. Alternatively, you can drag and select a larger area, and deselect a larger area by holding control and dragging. If you hold shift and select anything that's already been selected, it will get deselected. A will select everything. Option A will deselect everything. Command I will invert selections. Holding control will try and find the shortest path, while selecting everything in between. Holding option will loop select. Shift and option will allow you to loop select multiple times, depending on where you click. Will depend whether your loop is horizontal or vertical. Hitting control plus will extend a selection, and control minus will lessen a selection. Selecting two areas and then holding shift control plus will extend that pattern, and hitting shift control minus will lessen that pattern. The next few are only in the selection menu. Select random will randomly select a whole bunch of faces, and you can partially control it in the pop-up menu. Checker deselect will create this cool checker pattern if everything was already selected before using this tool. Again, more control in the pop-up menu. Select sharp edges will allow you to control the angle cutoff for selected things. Now there's side of active, which really only works in vertex select, and will select everything on one side of the mesh. Control it again in that bottom pop-up menu. Now we have Select Mirror, which can be found both in the selection menu and with the hotkey Shift Command M. If the object is symmetrical, it will mirror the selection and only have the opposite side selected unless you hit Extend in the pop up menu. Whoa, that was a lot. The other selection tools aside from Box Select are Circle and Lasso. You can rotate through them using the hotkey W, but you can also use them from the select menu and with their respective hotkeys. Box select is B, circle select is C, and lasso select is command right click for extend, or shift command right click for subtract. Circle select will allow you to change the size of the selection with scroll on mouse or plus or minus on numpad. So yeah, me and other trackpad users have to do it manual through the top area or by hitting N and then in tool. And the last selection tip is Spacebar, which will allow you to move your lasso or box selection. Sorry for a longer quick tip, but hope you learned something, and bye!